How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how to get an Israeli IP address from anywhere. So uh, obviously the best way of doing that is by using a VPN. It's the most consistent, quickest way to do so, especially if you're trying to bypass um, geo restrictions or if you want your data secured, if you're trying to maybe access foreign markets, foreign online markets using a VPN is definitely the best way to do so. Now I'm gonna be using Express VP VPN because it is my favorite uh, since it is the best in terms of security and it's very consistent when it comes to speed. You can also use Nord and Surfshark. These are also great VPNs. I'll talk about them in just a little bit, but for now, if you're interested in any of these, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. With that said, let's get into this. So as you can tell, I'm connected to Germany now, this is pretty standard in all VPNs. You're going to want to go to locations and look for, you know, whatever country you're trying to get. Uh, in this case, that'll be Middle East and Africa. And there we go. You're going to click on Israel and just wait for it to connect. And the moment you're connected, that's how you can confirm it. Just go to some website and it should tell you that um, the country should change here and the IP address should change as well. So. I'm going to hit continue, refresh, and I'm in Tel Aviv, Israel. So that's pretty much how you do it. It's very simple. Um, it even it even says that my ISP is an Israeli ISP. So yeah, that's pretty reliable way of um, kind of changing your IP address. So let's say you're new to IP addresses. Okay, that's pretty much how you do it. But what if you want to maybe take a few extra security measures. Maybe you want to make sure that everything is uh, the way you want it and you want to understand the options behind uh, your um, VPN here. So these are all features that are all available in Nord and Surfshark, unless I say it's exclusive to this VPN. So keep that in mind. So kill switch and split tunneling are both available in um, uh, all VPNs that I mentioned today, including Surfshark and NordVPN, so keep that in mind. So the kill switch is going to sever your internet connection when you get disconnected from the VPN. And what that does is that if you didn't know when you're connected to the VPN, you're connected to secured uh, servers provided by the VPN provider. So the moment you disconnect from those servers, you will revert back to your ISP servers, which are monitored. And if you're living in a country with heavy restrictions, you might, you know, you might want to, I guess, uh, hide your IP address or well, hide your data, hide, hide your online data generally. So that's what a network lock or a kill switch is for, uh, which will sever your internet connection in case you uh, disconnect from the VPN. Split tunneling will uh, decide which kind of, uh, which apps go through the VPN connection and which apps don't. So that's a pretty handy tool if, if you're interested in that. Besides that, the protocols, you can just go with automatic. Automatic definitely works. Lightweight is great because it connects very quickly that's one and two, it's great for mobile devices. And since it connects very quickly, it, it will be very reliable when it comes to streaming and unblocking geo restrictions with streaming services such as Netflix. And it will be uh, using less battery for your mobile devices since it uh, has less than a thousand lines of code. Though if you're looking for security, you wanna go with OpenVPN. It is the proven protocol to be the safest protocol. Uh, it's the best combination of speed and security. So that's a great VPN. Uh, I mean, protocol, excuse me. TCP has very low uh, download speed. So yeah, that you don't want to you don't want to mess with that. ICAV is quick, but barely works on a handful of networks and L2TP is outdated at this point and has low security. Now this is an Express VPN exclusive, which will be only use ExpressVPN DNS servers while connected. And what that'll do is that it'll force the ExpressVPN DNS onto your device so that um, it prevents any data from leaking. It, it ensures uh, performance, top performance and security. So yeah, it'll act as sort of an extra layer of obfuscation, which will make your uh, data look like any other browsing data and your ISP won't even be able to tell that you're using a, um, uh, a VPN in the first place. So ExpressVPN lets you secure up to five devices and it doesn't matter which servers you're using for whatever activities since they're all optimized to do anything from streaming to, 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 to torrenting or whatever you're trying to do. Let's say you wanna spend a little bit less, okay? Um, 
secure one more device and get a couple of extra features. This is when NordVPN comes in as a great value um, kind of VPN here. So you're getting dedicated IP, double VPN, which connects your uh, connection through two tunnels rather than one. So two servers uh, at the cost of speed, of course, onion over VPN for Tor users and P2P for torrenting. Um, the cool thing about here is, about NordVPN is that you also get a, an app kill switch. So if you don't want to kill your internet connection completely, when the VPN disconnects, you can just uh, choose uh, certain apps to uh, be terminated. You also obviously get split tunneling, a couple of servers, including UDP, TCP, and Nordlynx. Nordlynx is definitely the quickest one that you want to use. And uh, in terms of obfuscation, you're going to have to turn on obfuscation if you're living in any country with strict censorship, but at the cost of much fewer servers at your disposal. So uh that would be i guess the downside of using it so here I, I got the servers back now that i turned the obfuscation off again obfuscation will make it look like your browsing data looks like any other browsing data so that your isp can tell they're using a vpn and for surfshark surfshark will actually let you um secure an unlimited amount of devices so if you're looking for a, a vpn that just gets the job done you know you're not too worried about security or consistency and speed um surfshark will definitely get the job done especially if you're just trying to maybe unblock netflix and just uh, or, or maybe access some foreign markets to get a few discounts here and there surfshark is absolutely great the problem with nord and surfshark is that they'll try to get you in order to get these big discounts you're gonna have to commit with them for up to two to three years uh, when it comes to subscription plans, whereas ExpressVPN is only trying to get you to commit to one year. So uh, you may see that as uh, good or bad, depending how long um, you want your uh, kind of subscription to last. So yeah, you still get kill switch, you still get your split tunneling, you get all these good good stuff, and you get the WireGuard protocol and no borders mode, which is their own uh, version of obfuscation. We, obfuscation which you can combine with shadow socks if you're living in a country with heavy censorship besides that that's how you change your ip address and uh these all of these three vpns are great if you're interested in any of them make sure to check the description down below feel free to take advantage of these special deals and offers as they may not be available on the original website so yeah that'll be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um feel free to ask me all any kind of question down in the comments below i'll be happy to answer all of them and i'll see you guys in the next one have a wonderful day